friends. Happy December 25th. Happy 25th day of Fall of the Vlog. Uh, Merry Christmas if you're celebrating. Um, my name is Jessie and my pronouns are she and they and this is going to be way shorter than I had initially planned. So I just finished filming about 40 minutes of video uh, and when I went to put everything together in my video processor it tells me that the file is corrupt. So <laughs> I apologize. Um, some of it was really rambly, weird, possibly nonsense, so I'm okay with you not seeing that. But um, the cats made appearances and I opened up the goodies and talked about Whipco and uh, lots of stuff and now it's gone. So <sighs> my apologies that you're not going to get to see all the randomness um, that, that I had filmed, but um, I can't recreate 90% of that. Here's Luna. You at least get to see a cat. What you doing? Please don't walk across the computer. Loki likes to walk across the computer. What are you doing? What you doing? What's going on? Can I not have, I don't want cat fur in my coffee. Okay. So, um, I'm sad. I'm sad because I had shared so much stuff with you. I'm still going to show you what I opened, but I can't. I can't open it for you now because it's already open. So <laughs> sad. <laughs> I also don't have time to go through all of the other randomness that I went through because now I have to get ready to go um, get my brother because we're we're gonna watch movies today. Um, he and Adam and and myself are gonna watch movies together today, and um, it's only about an hour till I need to go get him. So in order to get this uploaded and processed and all that sort of stuff, I, I don't have time to go through it all. So um, I guess I'll save it for floss tube. By the time I get ready to film a floss tube, I'll have I'll be able to talk about it again without feeling annoyed. So. <laughs> So yeah, um, I hope your day is going more to your plan than mine is so far. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. We're going to take it as it comes. It's going to be fine. So let me at least show you the things that I opened. <laughs> I can't believe, well, I guess it's good that my computer waited until, you know, the last day of opening gifts to decide to, to crap, crap out. But, uh, um, but yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> also, I forgot you didn't get to see my Christmas sweater. This is my Christmas sweater. <laughs> uh, a very dear friend of mine, Tina, gave this to me. It was intended to be a gift for her mother. Um, unfortunately, her mother passed away before she could give it to her for Christmas. Um, so Tina asked if I would like to have it. And I decided that, yes, I would love to have it in honor of her mother. Her mother was a fantastic lady. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, every time I, I put it on, uh, I think of my friend Tina and I think of her wonderful mom, which makes me think of my wonderful mom too. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> it's, and it feels like wearing a hug. It really does. I don't normally like sweaters. I really don't. Um, most of the time sweaters are uncomfortable and itchy. This is the softest, most comfortable sweater I've ever worn in my life. And you wouldn't think it would be with all this applique and everything on it, but it is so comfortable. It is super comfortable. The only issue I have with it is that it's very, very warm. And today it's 60 degrees. So it's a little too warm for today. <laughs> but on those days when it's really, really cold, it's perfect. It's perfect. So Okay, let me get into it because like I said, I got I gotta get ready. So this was uh, from Stitchy Box. So this is my 2021 Christmas Bash Box. This was the gift for day 25. So it's a Quirky Quaker ornament uh, from Darling and Whimsy, Deanna at Darling and Whimsy. And I think it's just super cute. And it's definitely going into my stash of Quirky Quakers to be stitched um, for Season of Smalls in the future. Um, at some point, I think I would like to stitch all of these and give them away as gifts or something. But that presumes that I'm actually going to FFO anything. Who knows? Chances of that happening. Oh, I just realized. Oh, I have my light on. <laughs> no wonder everything looks weird. Okay, well, I'm not turning it on now because there's no point. <laughs> I've already filmed twice now with no light on. We're just going to go with it. Okay, it's one of those days, y'all. It's one of those days. It's fine. 
when I'm done filming this, I'm going to go get some eggnog and I'm just going to hang out and chill until it's time to go get my brother. <laughs> my eggnog has no alcohol, by the way. It's just really good, really rich eggnog. It's fantastic. Um, so, um, did I tell y'all the saga of the eggnog? I can't remember. So I think I did because I talked about going to the local mom and pop grocery and they didn't have any eggnog. I could have purchased the, um, the eggnog from... It's uh, from a, a local creamery, Richland Dairy, Richland Farms Dairy. Um, unfortunately, they just suffered a fire. I didn't realize this until yesterday. Um, they lost their calf barn. So very, very sad, but I'm happy to support them. Anyway, um, my favorite bakery down the street was selling eggnog from Richland Farms. Um, and I didn't get a chance to get eggnog from there and I was really disappointed, but it turns out that the food lion up the street actually carries Richland Farms eggnog. So I finally got eggnog, <laughs> finally got eggnog. <laughs> so after dinner yesterday, and dinner was fantastic, I got to see some friends that I had not seen in ages, um, and I loved it. I, I need to stop messing with my hair, I'm sorry. I'm all discombobulated. Um, anyway, so, um, Yes, dinner last night was fantastic. Got to see friends that I hadn't seen in at least a year. Um, it was really, really awesome. And when I got home, later than I had expected, but when I got home, um, I had a nice big, um, actually I had a glass of, of the eggnog from Richland Farms and it was the best eggnog I've had in my life. It's fantastic. Um, so yeah, anyway, that was, that was a lot of information about eggnog. Anyway. Let's get to the yarn. So this is from Winter and Stars Hollow. This is the full skein that came with the box and it is really, really gorgeous. It's called Where You Lead, I Will Follow. So it's named after the title, the, the opening theme for Gilmore Girls. And it's got some gorgeous colors. It's got most of the colors that we've seen. Let me not pull that that way. It's got most of the colors that we've seen in the mini skeins. I'll open it up a little bit so you can see all those really fabulous colors. They're so pretty. The pinks and the purples. So I really, really love it. And I did go on and on and on about how um, awesome I thought the winding job was on this because I have never seen a skein wound so that this was so neat and tidy, this piece. Because what'll generally happen is they'll take a big long hank of yarn and wind it and wind it and wind it and then sort of um, cinch it and they'll get something to pull it in the middle so that it will wrap around itself on the sides. That's how you get this, this nifty um, wrap hank. Um, and then you take one end and you fold it over the other to hold it together. But I've never seen a dyer make that piece so neat. Like how tidy is that? That's so pretty. Anyway, I don't know why I'm so impressed by that, but I really am. <laughs> and the whole skein is just very compact and very um, tightly wound, which I, I really love because that means that it's not going to come unraveled while I'm waiting to use it for something. So, um, but yeah, so that's our last hank or our last um, yarn from the Winter and Stars Hollow from Fangirl Fibers. And these are all the yarns. And I probably should find a better way to display this because it's, that's just kind of a jumble of all the different colors, but lots of really gorgeous colors. Um, this one here, the, um, the Dance Marathon one is still my favorite. I think that's my favorite of the entire set. So I'm really sad that there's no more tiny presents to open, but um, I will definitely, I'll still be back tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure what we'll talk about. Maybe we'll talk about some of the things that I tried to talk about today that are no longer filmed because the video got corrupted. Um, <laughs> so maybe I'll discuss WhipGo tomorrow. Um, I do know that uh, now that I have, uh, I actually have a written down list of all the whips that I'm currently aware of that I have, a total of 27 whips which for me is a whole lot, <laughs> but it's honestly just about the right amount for Whipco for me. So that, that works out well. Um, so I may talk about that in more detail tomorrow. Um, the next step now that I have my list of whips is to actually start pulling them together, putting them in chronological order. And once I get that done, I will film a whip parade. So um, fingers crossed that'll happen sometime in this next week because I do want that posted before um, January 1st. So clean slate, like here's all the things that I have at the end of 2021 and then 2022 will happen and we'll start all over again. 
<laughs> and hopefully at some point um, in between, I will figure out a way of, uh, of recording and keeping track of my whips that works for me on a regular basis instead of these different things that I have been trying that um, generally I let fall by the wayside and then at some point I have six months of whips that I have to remember what I've done. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, so I guess this is it for today. Um, again, I apologize for the 30 minutes of content you're not getting. <laughs> <laughs> and for the fact that you didn't get to open the, the gifts with me, I hate that. That that really sucks um, because I feel like that's that's part of the fun part is opening the gifts with you and not having to show it to you after. But anyway, nothing I can do about it. We're breathing, releasing. <laughs> Whatever you're doing today, I hope that, uh, that you're having a peaceful day. I hope that you're having a gentle day. Um, if you're able to spend time with the people that you enjoy, then I hope that time is fantastic and wonderful. If you're not able to, then I hope that you're at least treating yourself with kindness, that you're doing something nice for yourself today. Um, you are worth taking care of. Um, even if it is just you, you're worth doing something special. So do something that makes you feel good, uh, regardless of what else is going on. Do something that makes you feel good. And, uh, and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye.